Hi, I'm Danny Beth. Well, heck, stay. You think I'd get that right one way or the other? What's your name again? I uh, that's the hardest part of the whole thing. <laughs> I am still Danny Black, and I am here with Mike Moynihan from Bench Clear Media, and that is relevant because we are asking five questions today for the hot corner. Hot corners position five in your scorebook, and today we are talking Hobby Palooza. Mike, for those who don't know, we are celebrating what year of Hobby Palooza is this? Or what this iteration? Is the fourth year. Fourth iteration of Hobby Palooza. It was started in 2020 as an idea that I had as I was sitting around lamenting the fact that we couldn't go to the national, that they had canceled it. And it was like, well, this sucks. I'm going to miss my friends. And we I came up with this idea of doing during the same time as the national should have been going on in Chicago in 2020, a, you know, just live stream event with all the content creators hosting hours of live streams where we could all be in at least a virtual hangout setting and, and have different people talk about different subjects, which is what we do at the show anyway, is talk cards. And so that's the, that was the brainchild. Well, a lot of people would take a similar idea and say, let's do an hour or two and get everybody on, but you have taken on the, the mighty task here of going uh, Saturday and Sunday, 24th and 25th on Bench Clear Media. Are these hours correct? 11 to 11 on Saturday and 11 to 10 on Sunday? Yeah, it's uh, 23 hours of live content over two days, yes. And who are these people? <laughs> well, it's a great or Where mix. do they come from? Uh Truthfully, they're just friends. Like I just, I, it was funny the first year I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fill up this much time. And I had it filled up. I had all the spots taken in like 45 minutes. And since then it's become, uh, we, we've tweaked it a little bit over the, over the iterations and made it uh, all on bench clear now and just simpler for the viewer to track and follow along. You literally have to show up to one channel and just go live stream to live stream every hour. Uh, yeah, the people are just mainly hobby contacts, hobby friends, and uh, content creators, fellow content creators. If somebody has never watched a hobby palooza, what should they expect? Expect a lot of uh, lively chat in the in the live chats. Expect uh, a lot of great information, a lot of getting jazzed up for the national. You know that's kind of what it's what it's turned into and morphed into over the years. Is we still we have we now have a national, so this is more of a a, ho a hobby national pep rally. Are you a virtual pre party? Exactly. Okay. I like that. Exactly. Um, are you going to be? Uh having shows that people have seen before is that the idea a lot of yeah. these people that we're going to might be familiar with yeah certainly uh the the idea is to make it an an event that you will recognize most everybody uh generally everybody that is hosting an hour will have other people in addition to them in the stream so you'll probably over the 23 hours probably see close to 100 different YouTube sports card personalities and in one shape, way, shape, or form. Very cool. And I know it's a labor of love. Uh, anything else people should know uh, about Hobby Palooza? Well, this year, just like last year, we are going to be raising money during the event for a great cause, and that is Signatures for Soldiers. Uh, they actually don't know that we do this. I did it last year and <laughs> brought them a check at the National uh, last year, I did it a little differently. I did it through YouTube Super Chat, but that was the first year I'd done it. And once I realized what a giant cut YouTube takes of that money that people donate, it seemed kind of silly. So you, you'll know when you come into Hobby Palooza what, what form that's going to take in order if you want to contribute to that cause. All the money will be uh, given to of course, signatures for soldiers at the national. And I, and I look forward to that aspect of it. It's fun to, to give back and, you know, it, it'll be a, a good deal. Um, you know, I respect that tremendously. Um, more importantly, it is an absolute blast of, of fun and hobby uh, for two days. It's definitely, I feel like a time in the hobby where there's been a little bit of a lull and everybody's kind of banging at the door to 
get out and play. And uh, I think this kicks off uh, that season. So I'm looking forward to it. I know Hobby News Daily is uh, thrilled to be the media partner. So we'll have the whole schedule up for everybody. Uh, and uh, we'll have the links to, to Bench Clear Media for everything. Yeah, where can people find that uh, information? Right at, right at hobbynewsdaily.com. Yeah, last thing I want to say is it's a great event. It's I want to tell you, not everybody certainly can be there for two straight days, but just hop in and check in and who's live and and look at the schedule so that you don't miss your favorite hobby uh, content creators. Just just pay attention and come when you want, come and go, enjoy it, have a great time with it. Well, that's five questions. You are off the hot corner. Thank you very much. That was easy. You, you've you made it easy. This is fun. Thank you for doing Hobby Palooza. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate it. Take care.